once again we are back for part five of the angel wings gameplay series um this game gets a lot more entertaining you know we get to learn more about people continuously and in this episode my person somehow changes the dynamic of this trash basketball team how does that happen you're gonna have to stay tuned be sure to like subscribe and as always let's go Pianos, that's how you know it gets you in the mood right there. That when the pianos come through, it definitely gets you in the mood. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's pick it up. Let's pick up um, you know, what we did last time. So again, like I said, we ended up at, you know, apparently getting offered a contract. So we're showing up for a practice, getting offered a contract in the game. And you know, going from there. It seems like everything I and again, I don't know the love elements and all the stuff. It seems like my uh decisions are leading towards Seol Seola, if I'm not mistaken is her name uh the one who actually plays the basketball team with the, the celebrity um but who knows things are going to change so let's go ahead and get rock and roll here we'll get started another day of art class to slide my desk over the chain she does she doesn't recoil in disgust like i expected her to um i can't believe he's still in the art class that's that's fun are you going to stick around today bro are you all up in her business My guy's literally all up in everybody's business, man. If she want to leave, let her leave. Hold that thought for a bit. What? <laughs> oh, man. I didn't do any homework. Listen, Professor, Professor X, I'm busy hooping. I ain't doing any homework. Oh, my guy's about to freak out right now. <laughs> that right there is a perfect explanation of the school system. It's a quarterly critique or something, and your teacher basically tells you that you'll never amount to anything. If that isn't the you know the truth about like how the school system works why did i know this because you're too busy hooping balling you you, you living a baller life now bro <laughs> oh man she is um she is going crazy on you right now oh okay cool so that means that um Hopefully, I get a free pass on this class assignment. Forty-five minutes to complete the evaluation. What kind of teacher is this? Like, so you got to pull up the, the syllabus just to get all of the, um, just to get like all the information. Like, you couldn't give them a heads up like what you're doing. doing bro okay you signed up for the class I want to be on record for saying I said that we shouldn't have signed up for this garbage but um you wanted to be Mr. Superhero and talk to two girls in the class so deal with it Okay, another choice. All right, listen. A comic book character, a photorealistic self-portrait, or draw the robot. I don't like when it says draw the robot. It didn't give me sense to say draw a robot because that makes me lead. That leads me to believe that there's a specific robot um, that maybe he should be doing. I feel like a photorealistic self-portrait would make the most sense. Looking at what I'm seeing on the walls, looking at the contest clues here, and they have, you know, photos, I think that makes the most sense. So that's what we're going with. You draw yourself? All right. I didn't expect you to do that.
criticizing each student one by one, offering vague ramblings resembling criticism. He about to roast your paper, boy. I cannot wait for this. He is about to roast this guy to oblivion. Oh, here he is. The days of the romantic era. Okay, okay. That, that can be good, but it is can be also harmful. It's worth 67 out of 100, I think. So you gave him a D plus. You gave him a D plus. Listen up here, Professor X. Listen, I'm sick of you, man. You come around here thinking you better than everybody just because you're holding the book each time I see you. I'm sick of you. Oh, that wasn't me. That was for somebody else. Oh, now you realize it. Oh, okay. Michelangelo Socrates. Yo, listen. How old are you? Man. Listen, I just want to say for the record that clearly my guy's good at everything because you decided to just randomly play basketball for the first time and you were selected to a professional team and you just randomly draw something off the top of your head and, um, you know, your professor looks at it and gives it a grade pretty much like almost 100%. And then he goes over here and just her and he just destroys her. Oh, she hit you with the good okie doke. Well done. He hit her with the o okie doke. Wow. Yeah, bro. It's called a job. You work on your job. Okay, I ain't mad at it. Listen, you gotta school work is overrated anyways. That is that's that's strange. I'm not even gonna ask any further questions beyond that. That's what I was thinking. Why? Man, she owed up. She is living and I don't mean to pause every time, but she is living my struggle. Literally my struggle. Um, anytime, you know, I decide to go to work or something like that, or even now, even now looking outside and seeing how beautiful it is. Like that's the struggle. Like, you know, it's really hard to find the motivation when you literally see no clouds in the sky. Um, and I'm in Florida. So, you know, no cloud in the sky is pretty consistent. The beach is right up the street. It's crazy. It's crazy out here. Ah, you would. She ain't lying about the smell of coffee. She said the smell, not buying coffee. Active listening, bro. Oh, she wants you to buy her some coffee? Listen, man. <laughs> Listen. This is a tough decision. Because I want to say no. I want to say no because I feel like this is the start of, oh, let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and use you. That's kind of why I feel. Um, but at the same time, if you ever worked in industries before, like some store like this, um, not even this, but any particular type of store, it's every now and then you do a, fr a, a favor for a friend. So, you know, but this is also Starbucks or the Moonbucks. So, 
the romantic music is throwing me off. I want to say no. I want to say no. I want to say no. Um, uh, I'm going to be guilted into it. All right, just one time. That was tough because I really wanted to say no. Listen, I would say, I would say too, talking about that whole uh, poor student thing, that's another reason why you do it. Because if, if anybody went to school, and I never went to actually like college or anything like that, but anybody who went to school, um, I know my, my wife went to college, and those books, it's insane how much they try to charge you for books. So just reminding you, probably need to your rent check from you. So. <laughs> ah, she ain't playing no games, man. No games with her. It's the first of the month. So grab your check and come on. Mm, that is true. I didn't even think about it. Didn't even cross my mind. I ain't even peeped the signs. <laughs> that is true but listen why is she hating why is she hating yo we gotta have this conversation hold up she is hating regardless of what happened i showed up on the court i balled out i earned my 10-day contract that was me that was me that was in there. Kobe, I was doing that. That was me. I was locking down the defense like Bruce Bowen in his prime. And you want to go ahead and hate on me. Man, go ahead. Yep, ain't lying. Look at what she thinks about. Look at what she thinks about. Listen, if you really worried about that rent check, you should have been like, hey, listen, you got to you gotta offer to play with this team. You know, hey, go ball it up. I'll be at your games. Nah, bro, you got to be honest. You got to be honest. And I'll tell you why you got to be honest, because you're really not doing great on the game. And you could give me a little extra since I'm nice to you. I mean, I ain't no, I would say the word, but you, you know, you get banned on Twitch for saying that. But I, listen, I am not the person you are going to, who's going to be taken advantage of. Shenanigans. <laughs> My shenanigans are fun. Yeah, I think. Uh, Integrity is going to kill me here. I think I'm going to have to let them know that I, I ain't, you know, I'm not a D1 baller or something like that. The worst that could happen is uh, I get injured. Wow, yo, I swear, listen, man, she, I do not like this, this lady, she, she tries me every single time, like, she finds a way to compliment you and tell you you should do something and then backhand you at the same exact time, she's like, hey, listen, how did you end up on this team, but you should do that to give me the money, oh, you know, hey, you, all you gotta do is put a little bit of effort, but hey, you could be a cheerleader, I'm sick of you, sick of it, I'm sick of it. Should tell her the truth. Yep. First of all, let's be clear. If this contract, if they're making a good amount of money, like he made it seem like he's making, um, then I think that 
he, he doesn't even leave, need to live there. I mean, I don't know what rent's going like in this place. Clearly, it must be a lot since that girl's living there, too. What's this, a T-Mobile Arena in Vegas? Okay, man. It's time to ball. You got to learn how to ball, bro. 10,000 people? That's pretty good. Pretty good size. I think it's about the size of a WNBA NBA game, if I'm not mistaken. And if that's wrong, I did not mean to say it as a term of disrespect. I don't know how much crowds the WNBA games pull in. I just assume it's around that based on what I've seen. Are you a celebrity now, too? Number 13, like James Harden. First of all, a co-ed league, a professional co-ed league is pretty crazy if you think about it realistically. Yes, it's real. You ain't know that? She ain't even gonna let me. Oh, they hit. Oh, wow. Number eight. Okay. Hey, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Number eight. I'm not sure if that was done intentionally, but hey, you're playing the game, and that's my number. I'm not mad at it. This is a little crazy. How oh, I could. So this guy could just show up at a random gym and end up playing professionally. Pretty big crowd. Yeah, you're a little bit over your head. You're a little bit over your head. You don't have a jump shot yet. You only made one shot in your career of basketball. I mean, you're nervous about the fact that this guy's never played basketball. And he got signed to a team. Yeah, pretty nervous. Bench warmer status. There you go. Hey, we're not mad at it. Yeah, clearly you guys are not that good if you don't know that I can't play ball. Should have checked the scouting report, bro. Oh, that was random. That was the right. that person is going off in the back. Shoot the tree. Shoot the jumper. Didn't miss a single shot. All right, so clearly this guy's a bench warmer now. So you randomly end up playing basketball the first time, get signed to the professional team. Now you're a bench warmer. They're going to put you in at the end. I already kind of know where this is going. They're going to put you in at the very end. You're going to screw up. I see this. We're down by 20. Yep, you're getting garbage time minutes. You're getting garbage time minutes. Let's go. It's your time to shine. Told you. Called it. All right, man. You got the number eight on your back, man. You got to do it for Kobe. Rest in peace, Black Mama. Rest in peace, GG, Peyton Chester. Everybody who passed away in that tragic accident. Ah, there you go, man. What do you think? You was going to get signed to a team and not play? Number eight? Okay, man. Do it for code. Do it for code. Yeah, you need to uh, pick up a jump shot, too. You're winded and exhausted. It's a stadium full of people, just like playing pick -ball, game balls at the gym. Listen, that actually does happen. If you actually play, you know, prof uh, not professionally, you actually play a pretty hectic game like that, sometimes you just forget that people are out there. You just get in the zone. Garbage time might be wise. He told you. You get the garbage time minutes. Yeah, you should throw in the white flag. Down by 20 points. 
what if I go in there and I bring the team back, you know, down by 20 points and then look, 43, 40, 67. Okay, so you're down by 24 points. You're number eight. You're down by 24 points. Both are Kobe Bryant's numbers. It's your time to shine. Bring it back. Score 81. Oh, he didn't win. How many points did I have? Can I get a stat sheet? I can't even get a stat sheet. I, I want to see if I actually made one shot. Don't worry about the loss that happens. No wonder your team is not doing good. You can't have that mindset. Clearly. Hey, you're one, one loss away from uh, never winning the game. First of all, I don't know, bro. That that's, I was gonna ask that question. Who are you gonna talk to? Go home, talk to her. Well, clearly, if she's pretty upset, you probably should go talk to her, especially when you didn't really do anything. So, um, you could just go home too, kick it. But mm, for the sake of story, See, that's how she's supposed to be. You're supposed to feel like that. The other lady's way too happy. She's making dinner plans after a big loss. Okay. <laughs> Another backhanded compliment. You gotta love it. That's all you can do. Get on the field. Oh, I love the confidence. You haven't really played ball, but I love the confidence. Okay. I mean, you can't do all you gotta do is win two games, and you're doing better than the last season, according to the other girls. So hey. Yep, you definitely better hold it up. That means getting in the gym and getting a gun, uh, not gunshot, a jump shot getting a jump shot because clearly according to the last pickup scrimmage game you only made one shot so far uh there you go yes you got to do it you got listen you got number eight on your back kobe ain't gonna quit you got to do it kobe don't play that talking about practice oh Oh, that was a good reference. That's a good reference. Island Iverson, gotta love it. That's just regular ball drills. You never did that before? You know, I won't even lie. Like, um, because of the way the last match and the last thing ended, I thought it was going to focus on the basketball, but it's actually a lot more into the basketball than I thought. Thirty-four. Only got thirty. You can't shoot a hundred jump shots. That's not that difficult. Yeah, man. You, 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 what's up with you, bro? Grab a Gatorade and get back out there. Ah, you letting them off the hook, man. I, yo, my character keeps complaining every time. It's crazy. Ah, she knows. She knows that you lying in these streets. She knows. That means you don't have a jump shot. That means you need to practice. And you got to do it. You got to get your elbow in. You got to get your elbow in. I'm pretty sure he's shooting like that. So, but y'all gave him money, so don't be mad. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm sick of these people that always want to just.
Yeah, you signed a contract with the GM, and they never really talked about that, and I was kind of upset with that. Because they said you were going to sign a contract, and you were going to talk to them before, and then they, boom, you just suddenly playing in the game. See? There you go. You got to do it with Kobe. You can't, can't just go. The other lady was going to Applebee's right after. She's like, hey, we lost two for 20, but hey, you got to you gotta show the effort. See, there you go, man. See, you installing faith. Now you just need to have a jump shot. You need to get faith in your jump shot. I mean, clearly. Man, you are always so down to yourself. Practice. <laughs> oh, no. What? I'm done. I am done with this. Hold on. I'm going to get back to the story, but a hot take. So clearly they're making fun of ESPN first take. Is that supposed to be Skip Bayless? This guy looks like he has a hedge fund. <laughs> this They got a fake Skip Bayless. This is nuts. Oh, man. And first of all, we scored 67 points, and she scored 32 points out of those seven rebounds. Three assists. So now we got this little fake little Skip Bayless here. I am I know I got to move on with the story, but that's hilarious. I did not see that coming. Look at that hair. Man, he definitely has acts in that hair. That is insane. So, And, and instead of calling him Skip, they call him Chip. <laughs> All right, I'm done. The Angels lost tough one. Tough one. Are they going to talk about me? Chip, what did you see tonight? All right, Chip, let me know what's on your mind, buddy. Week Eastern Conference, they're still in the hunt for the playoffs. We won one game last year. We're in the hunt for the playoffs? How weak is this conference? So, we're in the hunt for a playoffs with a 1-10 in record? Mm. You're definitely not Skip Bayless. You're more like Chip Bayless, for real. Chip, Chip, Chip Layless, or whatever fake name they're going to give you. This game, the knockoffs they do in this game is hilarious to me. Half a decade, five years. Wow. So she really is a celebrity. You ain't talking about my performance, though. You ain't talking about the intensity that I brought when I went in there. It's kind of upsetting. Man. Oh, this got dark. This got really deep. My allergies. Hey, man, I, I feel you on that. I'm Snifflesaurus I'm Snifflesaurus Rex on his mic right now. Leftovers. Hit you with the XO. Okay. Even though she messes, she makes fun of you every five seconds. You get some respect. So cheesy, pun intended, huh? On your skull son, Chip Layless skull son. Oh man, this is funny. What do you gotta do? Search something? Hmm. Are you really gonna stalk this girl? I'm sick of this guy, man. She told you to not come to her phone shop, and you're literally gonna go over there and stalk this girl. I don't know what's up with this guy, man. He's he is something else. Yeah, I'm questioning it right now. You should have never left the house. Because you're dumb. Because you're low-key stupid. What are you... So she cooks you food, so you got to stalk her at work. Got to love the logic. You can care about somebody without stalking them in their job. That is true. In that case, why do they leave the whole mall open? For one shop? 
tastes weird. Ajuma Momo. Okay, that doesn't sound like anything like the other stuff, so that's fine. And listen, no hate on the flip phone. I've been thinking about going back to flip phone myself. Like it's just so much easier than this uh, social media stuff. Ah, see, you and I think alike, buddy. Except stalking chicks at the mall. Why you come here to stalk her at the mall? Ah, he's really going forward to stalking. Sick of him. I, I, so this decision is another one of these decisions here. I feel like I came to visit you can come off flirtatious just out for a walk. That comes off kind of like a lie. You clearly came to visit her. So uh, I just came out for a walk and I decided to go in this mall and visit the only place that's open. Like, hey, that never happens. So. Man, listen, you wanted to do it. I'm, I'll go with that. I came to visit you. I know I might be sending mixed messages, but hey, listen. Yeah, you really did it. Yeah, it's quite late. You came there just for five seconds and then you leave. That sounds like every single job in the country. The boss is too cheap to hire more workers. Yeah, please don't let that joke fly. That's trash. That is peak level trash. That's what you're worried about? Don't worry about an angry drunk guy. Worry about people like you who show up for no reason. little girl like me well clearly you haven't been in the streets because uh fortunately there's bad things that happen every single day you'll find out the age you're never gonna find it out does the silver hair to hit you with the okie doke? Hmm. I don't know. Hey, hey, look at that. Just in case you don't know, that's the logo for the actual game. So I see what they're trying to do, bringing it back around. Hey, listen, she's trying to give you a weapon. Or she's trying to tell you something. Stop visiting her late night, you creep. Give her your skull sunk phone. She's going to pull out her A phone. And all these other knockoff names. So I know this whole thing is supposed to be about this moment, and you know, hey, that's why they did it this way, where you can kind of see that she's adding the charm on there. And I know it holds significance, but the only thing I'm thinking about, maybe just from being a, you know, growing up with phones and just being a techie, is where is the case on your phone, bro? It's a charm. What do you mean you're supposed to? Yo, this guy's stupid. You're peak level stupid. Oh, I sent the mixed message. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad, man. This 
this is going to be really, really, really bad. Oh, man. That's going to be rough. I should have went with the just going for a walk, even though the decision sounded stupid. Hey, you also got to get you. You literally went to a phone shop. You could have just... uh. Grab yourself a case while you was there. <laughs> oh man, you better cash up her that money. She played you. I took it seriously for a second because she was trying to extort you for money. This whole entire game, she's trying to extort you for money. All right, what's this? It's another collectible thing. Nerfed. That's funny. 